Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video here, we successfully complete our block category total code application. Right now, you can insert data, you can delete this data, you can also edit and update this data, right? Here, we successfully done this job. So now in this video, I want to discuss about our block. Okay, into this blog area, they have some of the images. If you go to our main theme, I didn't actually link this image. So now there have, should be one of the image. They have some of, some of the category name, which I have already done. And also there is on the time and then title. And when you click it, then that will be redacted one of the news details. If you go, that will be actually our single page, right? All that our total description, long description should be displayed now let's do that work and also i want to display all that our category and also category related all that post if you want to get how can do this work step by step i will show you everything with the live example now let's do that work first of all i want to do and design our page okay i want to design our database so that into the database we need one of the images portion and also i want to create another a foreign key of our category table that will be another id that means the category id um and then our title will be needed and when it will be redirected to our details page that is a blog details page and into this blog details page area there have should be some of the images that the time will be needed and title will be needed and description will be needed right that's all that's all so now let's create our migrations table and also we have to we have to create another model so our procedure will be just like that same first of all i want to create another model as a php artisan make and then model i want to create another model name and i just name it as a block okay so that will be our block model and also i want to create another migration table that will be as a migration so now if you click as a enter it will be created two of this file one will be as a model another will be our migration table so now first of all i want to do i want to go to our migration table if you simply go to our project right now i want to remove everything okay i want to close everything i close it everything will be just like our portfolio controller again i want to get some of the references from our portfolio controller because i have already discussed every part with you that will be just like that same because in our portfolio they have also some of the description and also they have some of the um, images right so that will be actually just like that same you can see they have also some of the images they have some of the description so now if you go to our um, that is our migrations okay so if you go to our migrations now you can see the new migration table is created as a block and for the block i want to do i want to better get some of the references i copy it and then here i want to do and to paste it okay now that will be multiple field i simply added the multiple one so now we have to do we have to add all the our field right so here first of all i want to do if you go to our database into this database i have already created another table as a block category so i want to create another foreign key like that is one of the id right so that is the id i want to do and to get i show you then everything will be more clear like i want to do and to take another field as a blog okay blog underscore category underscore id so here i want to get that our block category id you can make it as an integer because that will be one of the integer value so right now i make it as a string okay so and also make that field as a nonable and i'm actually using that nonable because of all rather than if they have no data then that will be display some of the error okay so now i simply update it and then all we need another one we need that our title and also our images portion will be needed and i want to do if you go to that our read more button into this read more they have also some of the tags right i also want to do i want to add some of the tags and how can I add that multiple tags data i will also show you that things with the live example so for now i want to do that will be our category name our title will be needed so i name it or another field as a blog okay so that will be as a blog underscore title okay and then i want to take another one that will be as a blog underscore image so our image will be needed i want to take another one for the tags so that will be the blog underscore tags okay whatever name actually choose now i name it as a tags perfect and then our description will be needed right so that is our description field for the description i want to do I want to take another one that will be the blog underscore description description and description will be one of the long text so for the reasons here i don't want to use that string as i told you when you use that as a any string value automatically it will be get as a 255 character so now i want to do and to make it as a change as a text okay now that will be our text for the block description our tags 
and then the blog image and blog title and that will be our category how can create that relation as i told you before how can create some of the relationship between two of these table in this video i will show you that things with the live example for now for our blog that's all okay for our blog that's all field will be needed and now i want to do i want to also update our model if you go to our model i have already created another model as a blog so that will be just like i make it as a protected guarded for our all field so i make as a protected guarded for the all field so now our all that field so they have some of the field all that field is now become as a fillable great now we have to our, our done our next job our next job is we have to done that our migrations right so i want to do and to use that as a migration as a php artisan migrate okay the php artisan migrate migrate so that will be the php artisan migrate when you click as a enter now our migration table is successfully done and if you now go to our database now that should be another table that should be another table here mm, if you, you can see that is another table is created as a blog and for the blog right now that is our main field that is a blog category id blog title blog image blog tags and blog description so in our next video i will actually work for our another menu for the all block okay so how can do this work but i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video